Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday morning. It is officially May 1st. It is officially May Gray. Everybody, I am calling on each and every one of you to make sure that this May Gray counts. Um, there were many, many years I had this diagnosis where I didn't think to do anything for May Gray. And really, quite frankly, it took a few years before I even knew what May Gray was. Uh, but now I'm very much a promoter of it. I want to make it the best it can possibly be. And I think with each passion, passing year, as our group continues to grow, I think we can really make some noise in this field of research and medicine and bring some real positive energy and awareness to Brain Tumor Awareness Month, which is all the month of May. So I'm starting off today, went to the gym, did my exercises in my gray, um, put on my dog tag necklace, Silver is a shade of gray. If any of you out there want one of these, they're $39. I'm happy to mail you one. Please do just let me know. Um, but let's think of some ideas together about how we're going to go ahead and make an effort this month to raise some noise and awareness in the arena of brain tumors. So for me personally, I plan to paint my nails and my toes gray tonight. I will for the whole month of May. Um, I plan to wear a lot of gray. I plan to wear my necklace every day in the month of May. Um, hair bands, uh, eyeshadows, anything of the gray and silver tones, I'm definitely going to be participating. There are a few exciting things that the brain tumor meningioma companions are doing in the month of May. We are raising money for uh, brain research. Uh, the Phoenix race in Arizona in October. Uh, is going to be uh, donating money to the Ivy Brain Research Center. And all of our companions are working hard this year in May to raise money in honor of one of our dear companions, Maki. Uh, we really are working hard to bring awareness to this and raise as much funds as we can. So if you are at all interested in participating, we would love to see you at the race. If you would like to help promote uh, raising money for Meg Gray. There will be a QWERTY code uh, at the bottom of this video. At the end of the video, I will definitely add it to the comments section. So uh, feel free to look for that. And every five bucks is going to help. So please do contribute. And um, also for the month of May, I will be flying to Tucson, Arizona, the weekend of May 21st. I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Brenda, who's one of our companions. And we're going to be doing a fundraiser uh, for this event. And we really do plan to bring awareness to the whole Tucson uh, community and uh, just have a little bit of fun with this. So uh, if you are in the area, please do come visit. Again, it's May 21st. I'll have more information on the website. Um, trying to remember the name of Crooked Tooth. Crooked Tooth is the bar that we're going to be hosting the fundraiser at on May 21st. Uh, from I believe 5 to 8 p.m. So do pay attention for details on that and again just super excited that uh, the community there is embracing us and offering a place for us to raise awareness and raise some funds for uh, this cause. Very very worthy cause. So Head for the Cure is the race that we're doing. It is in October. We're raising funds now in May Gray to support this research. We hope that if you're interested and you have can give up your Starbucks and have five bucks to donate. We certainly would love to raise as much funds as we can and make some noise as the brain tumor companions like to do uh, and really just draw some awareness in a really good positive way. So think of the ways that you can contribute. Um, I will have a flyer posted on the Facebook page as well. It's something that you can take to your work. You can email it to your friends. You can post it on your Facebook. I also have uh, a really cute Facebook post that I'm happy to add your picture to. So if you're at all interested in having your own personalized May Gray post, feel free to email me at meningiomacompanion at gmail.com. Again, that's meningiomacompanion at gmail.com. You can email me a picture of you. I will gray it out. I will put it on a cute little social post for you. And you're welcome to use that in the month of May uh, to help draw awareness and to share your story. Sharing your story is really what humanizes us all and makes us not feel alone. You know, we don't have um, a condition that people recognize. We're not wearing a cast on our arm. We're not strolling up to the door uh, in a wheelchair. We're not 
um, using a cane or you know have a big scar that that shows our hair grows back over our scar we wear hats and and we hide it and people just don't know we get back to life and we often struggle and we struggle alone and for many of us that is um, it's sad and it's wearing and it's exhausting and it drives a lot of anxiety for us uh, even when we're on the healing side and we've recovered every time you shampoo your hair you might feel your scar or if you're on watch and wait every time you go and have that MRI you're worried that your tumor is growing um, even for us in, in recovery on the other side every time we go to our MRI we're worried that the tumor is back so it really truly is a lifelong condition and it's one that is invisible to a lot of people in our lives we know that friends and family don't always understand and that's totally fine it's hard to expect them to it's hard to expect anybody to heck half the time I'm 10 years into this I don't even understand what's going on but I'm willing to learn and I want to learn and I want to always be involved in this community so that together we can grow and we can really conquer the challenges of this condition so if you're on board and you're willing to promote May Gray, please do something, anything, again, whether it's posting the flyer that I'll be sharing on our Facebook page, creating a social media post and passing that around, painting your nails gray, wearing some gray clothes, getting some gray hair accessories, makeup, whatever you can do that's fun, get a bumper sticker of some kind. Um, but we really do want uh, to fight for the cure and for those that suffer with brain tumor cancer, which our dear friend Maki does, um, we really want to fight hard for a cure uh, because this is an ongoing condition and it does take lives and it really is something that we need to draw attention to because not enough people know about it. So I look forward to hearing from you. You can text me at 424 Two three nine nine three six six. Again, that's four two four two three nine nine three six six. If you want a necklace, let me know. I can get your information and get one in the mail to you. Again, anywhere in the U.S., they're thirty nine dollars each. If you want a social media ad post with your picture on it, personalized just for you, I'm happy to do that for free for you. Just send me your picture. I'll get it out to you as soon as I can. And um, I look forward to celebrating May with each and every one of you. Uh, my companions who join the Zoom groups regularly, I love you. I appreciate all that you do to promote this in your own lives and among each other. And I ask any of you who haven't joined us for a Zoom group, uh, please check it out. It's amazing. Our group continues to grow. We are meeting people from across the world uh, every single week. And it's just the most remarkable thing you can ever be a part of. So I look forward to connecting with you. I look forward to celebrating a great May Gray. And um, I hope you all take care and have a really happy Sunday. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Till next time.